Hello guys, Marcy Barbosa here. Guys, I uh, would like to just finish watching uh, East vs. West. I just finished like 10 minutes ago. What an amazing event. Again, East vs. West 6. Uh, East, like most of the times, have the majority of the victories. And uh, I would like to do some after match, you know, comments. Especially the matches that got my attention, that I like the most, you know. Just gonna check it out the matches here, like that I like to comment. Uh, one of the matches that I like so much was Corey West versus Ferito Osmali on the left arm. What a great match, guys! Uh, very proud of Corey West for his win. I mean, he's the best guy in the United States right now. He's a uh, 30 years old, super heavyweight, promising guy, you know. And uh, I was just happy for him to win. It looked like he affected him after that in his match against Arif on the right. So, uh, Corey West may have some, you know, little issues with the endurance. Here, but it's tough. If you have two, you know, super matches in the same day and they're very hard, most likely you're going to suffer. So, but congratulations on that match on left arm. Corey West, you are a beast. Another match that I like to, that was very entertaining to me, it was uh, Gabriela Vasconcelos versus Barbara from uh, Slovakia. What a great match. I was cheering for Gabi. Uh, Gabi is probably the GOAT uh, of the sport in the female department, but um, I mean, Barbara was like 275 pounds, 6 foot 3, monster. I mean, Gabriela is still stronger, but um, Barbara just found a way to win, you know, so much high, so much, she was good, you know, in staying away from Gabby a little bit to create that little space, and she has so much hand and wrist leverage, and it was not Gabby's day, but I'm sure they're going to do a rematch, so congratulations, Barbara and Gabriela, just keep it up to good work, you'll be back. Uh, another match that I like was John Brzezink versus Irakli Zirakashvili. What a great match, guys. Uh, to me, one of, if not the best match of the night, but 3 2 victory for Irakli out of nowhere. I never thought John Brzezink would lose, you know, from somebody pushing with a dead wrist. I mean, not a spe specifically not in this match. I mean, the hardest thing is to stop Irakli, you know, stop, you know, stop him and take his hand. To me, that was over, but uh, I figure it will be a 50-50 match. If you see my older videos, my videos that I did like a few days ago, I thought it was 50-50. And if I have to give, you know, a light advantage, I will give to John just because of experience and, you know, I, you see how strong John's hand is, like, his hand was so strong, he was so ready here, but <laughs> I think it, it actually surprised us all, you know, with the dead wrists and pushing. It was it was a great win for it actually to his career, 25 year old, you know, young gun. And no shame to John, he just lose a hard match, but he had everything to win. I think if you take a rematch soon, he can, can still be that, beat it actually. It was just, you know, sometimes you don't see it coming. He had it ugly, beat, and then it looks like he let him go a little bit, and then he couldn't control. However, great match. I just want to mention that match. Um, another great match. This is was East versus East. It was Muratov versus Petrenko in the 105 kilo class left arm. Muratov is an animal. He, he recently won the WAF words in super heavyweight guys and he won easily and he won this 3-0 against Pet Petrenko that's a force in the left arm especially in that weight category so I used to see Muratov in uh, 176 pounds then 198 pounds and all of a sudden he's 105 kilos so like a 230 pound guy so He's scary, he's super explosive, super strong. 
So congratulations, I love that match. Um, the other match that I like, I mean, I just want to mention Ferit versus Gennady was not a good match. Just, you know, Gennady outmatched Ferit. Ferit spent so much energy against Corey. I think he affects him too. Corey also got affected in his match with Ferit on the left when he pulled Arif. Arif just crushed him. And Pauline with Rustam. Pauline is the new light heavyweight champion of the world. I think this is great for his, for his career. I mean, unfortunately, Rustam got injured. Rustam got two pins on Paul. He hook him, he turn him in, you know, put him to the side. And Paul was trying two times, trying the top row, he couldn't. And then on, on third round, he went straight with Rustam and a hook. And then Rustam, right away, when, when Paul stopped him and tried to pull him back, he hurt his shoulder and he let it go and stopped pulling. So, basically it was 2-1 to, to Rustam still, but Rustam gave up because something in his shoulder, I think he tore something. You know, I don't know if it was bicep or a shoulder. He was touching his shoulder here, it might be his back, you know. And uh, unfortunately, we don't want to see that happen. And it's, you know, Rustam came back after a long time and you want to see those legends keep, you know, competing. And you don't want to see nobody gets injured. And I also forgot to mention Curtis Cameron. I think he blew his bicep pulling his hood up. Uh, I wish Curtis a speed recovery. Curtis is just part of the game, unfortunately. It happened to me before, so I know what I'm talking about. You're just going to come back stronger. Just persevere and then... You know, it's a process, but uh, I wish you the best and, and uh, speed recovery. And the other match with Michael Todd, I like the Michael Todd and Longer Bayev match. And uh, I kind of, uh, nobody know the outcome, but I kind of, kind of knew it was gonna happen that way. I mean, the King's move, I knew it wasn't gonna work to Kindergarten. I, I think I mentioned in my video the key for Michael, you know, for him to win, it was to hold, 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 and at this, at certain moment, at the right moment, transition to a press. I, I, the only, the only way I see Michael winning was that way, and that's the, the only win he got on Ongerbayev, and then Ongerbayev adjust. We all been telling like the most experienced, experience, uh, our wrestlers knew that Onger Bayev is very smart. He's not the strongest, but he's very smart. His endurance is forever, and uh, he he will adjust uh, the same way he adjusted against John Brzezink a few months ago. You know, when he was losing, and then he adjusted and just figured a way to win. He did the same thing with Michael Todd, and uh, it was a great match, guys. I I enjoy watching. So Michael Todd and, and Kindergali, Kindergali, congratulations again. Maybe we should pull uh, when I'm in good shape. I mean, I'm getting there, trust me. I'm 110 kilos now and uh, we'll see. My shape is getting good. I'm planning on pulling the Arnold's and uh, just to see what kind of shape I am. Uh, we'll see after that, I mean. And then Jerry Cutteret versus Georgie. Svetov from Bulgaria it was a it was a great match. Um, I mean, all the matches with Jerry style, he's pulling the best heavyweights in the world. Georgie uh, is just a recent, currently, current world champion from WAF, and uh, I knew it was gonna be a tough match, but but I knew Jerry's gonna end up winning because at one point uh, I figured like. Georgi will be in his bicep and at one point you're gonna get tired, you know, trying to win it and you're gonna get south. And it was harder than I thought. I mean, I thought Jared would, would win like three to one or three to two, but easier than it was. It was it was a battle. And then by the end of the match, the, the super match, both guys were out of breath. Like <laughs> Jared was super tired too. So but anyways, I just wanna another Another great event. I just want to say thanks, Ingan Terzi, for doing what you do and uh, keep doing the good work. 
It was a great event again. I watched the, the full thing. I got my pay-per-view. I spent all my Saturday <laughs> watching this event and it was like, I don't know, six, seven hours. I'm not sure. It was a long but great, another great event. Congratulations, England Thursday, and thank you for what you're doing for the sport. We, we appreciate you as an arm wrestlers. And uh, that's it, guys. Let me know in the comments and what you, if you watch the, those matches and uh, what matches uh, that you like the most. And I just mentioned most of the matches that I, that I liked the most. It was about 16 matches. It was a lot of matches. But those are the ones that I want to mention something. And, and uh, that's it, guys. See you guys in the next video.